As America's leading liberalologist, I can tell you that one way to defeat the liberal left is with their own policies. Liberals cannot survive without conservatives because we're the ones who provide the tax dollars that pay for their goofy policies. Well, it's time for the working class taxpayers to teach the blue states a few lessons. The blue states are going under, both morally and economically. I say let them go. The red states have everything we need for strong economies, and that means that we can sink the blue states. All we have to do is step up our conservative practices. Welfare scammers are one example. People who don't need welfare but take it anyway are one of the biggest drains on our national economy. Now, if the red states take serious steps to ensure the integrity of the welfare system, the scammers will flee the red states and head for the blue states. So here's the Wild Bill for America welfare reform plan. Every red state should begin mandatory drug and alcohol testing on every welfare recipient. They should have to report in person to collect benefits, and everyone who is physically capable of working should be required to take part in county work projects to qualify for their benefits. There is plenty of work to be done for those benefit checks, and it would separate the lazy from the unfortunate. Lazy scammers would quickly flee the state rather than do an honest day's work, and they would flee to the states that have no work requirement. The liberal blue states would be inundated with parasites and would suffer the consequences. Red states would find their headaches diminished as criminals and drug addicts vanish from their communities. More money would be available to help the people who truly need it. Now, the people who choose to take part in the work projects would benefit as well. Ronald Reagan was absolutely correct when he said that the best social program is a job. Work is therapeutic. Work validates a person and builds self-esteem a whole lot better than taking handouts. The blue states, run by liberals and swamped by all the scammers from red states, would be in real trouble. Now, there is no way that they would ever change their policies. Those infected with the mental illness of liberalism are incapable of admitting error or admitting that they may not be as smart as they think they are. Blue state liberalism would quickly bankrupt them. The scammers would no longer get their entitlement handouts. And if history is any indicator, riots would ensue. Liberal cities would burn and people would be hurt. It would be a very accurate indictment of the liberal welfare mentality, and America would finally see that conservative principles are the only way to go. The sooner we sink the blue states, the sooner America can recover, both economically and morally. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and God bless America again.